Hi, welcome all. This is a sound fifteen hundred system. Now we are going to look about what is the useful and benefits of this uh, display units. Mm, it's a most advanced system. Now it's released by Siemens, and this one is a seven two hundred system. It's used for some small applications. It's used for some large number of iOS applications. So now we are briefly going to see about what is the benefits and the useful of this display units because most of the customers and clients ask what is the use of this and what is the benefits how we can check in that so now we are going to see how we can check the display units and these things and this is the power supply CPU and this one is DA TVO module combination module and this is IA module so now we have some buttons up down escape 4k and display unit and now this is a main one if we want some default display or logo like Siemens or some logos we can be able to fix in this in this area while opening at the time it shows that um, logo in, in this area and here you can see settings and diagnostics overview and modules last one is display overview in the sense the total overview of memory and these things what are the modules are connected with this these things are available in this overview and the next one is diagnostics in case of any error in this module or in the CPU some memory errors it shows what are the errors is present for example you just enter in that you see alarm diagnostic buffers watch tables and cyclic time these things are available you just enter inside and you can see what are the alarms and uh, diagnostic status are available now there is no alarms are active so it didn't show diagnostic buffers it's loading the data see mm. so some diagnostic things communication initiator and these things are present in case of any error that also will um, display in this next one is settings settings you just enter in that it has some addresses so now by this using of display we can enter the IP address directly to the device no needs external software and these things now we are date and time also we can able to set in that and run stop run stop in display also available next thing is some dip switches are also available we can able to run and stop the PLC by either are this tip switch or this display now you see I just enter into the run stop it's arcing if you want to stop the PLC just click OK if I click the PLC is in stop mode again I just enter inside just click OK it's running now then reset if you if any error in this PLC don't need to connect the laptop or some other system no need software directly we can reset it from here and the same time the dip switch also available memory reset now for the example I just show how to set the IP address by this display just go first and click OK X1 X1 in this um, first uh, click OK it shows MAC address MAC address of this PLC is available here here is the MAC address of the PLC the same thing is shown here also and then PH device name it's, uh, it's a programmed name yes, 1500 Modbus TCP IP and last one is 
IP just go to that click OK now we can able to edit by this using of this switches this is a subnet mask click okay now you can able to edit it like this and after that just click apply it should be applied then okay next thing is next thing is modules just click ok what are the modules are connected to the cpu it sounds local modules click ok now you can see it's a tidv module and this is a AA4 channel module these are the things are available if you want check the status of the modules just go and click ok the status of the modules are available mm. we can easily identify what is the status and what is the errors here we can able to identify from here and the part number of these modules are also available here so these are the things are available in this display units hope it's useful for you thank you